So on this problem, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8. Now this is factorable. So we all know right now we can factor this problem. However, it's good to go over the method of finding and completing the square with problems that we know are already factorable because we can easily find the answer. Hopefully by now you guys can look in your head, factor this in your head, set them both equal to zero, and say that x is getting equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 4. Right? You do need to keep on practicing or at least, you know, paying attention so you can get that one. But we'll just keep on practicing with that, and, and that's only going to come with practice when you guys can do factor problems that quickly. However, the completing the square is important because not always are you going to have problems that are factorable. So again, I'll go through the steps. The first step is to take b divided by 2 and square it. So for this first problem, our b is 6. So 6 divided by 2 squared equals 9. Now, here's where it gets a little confusing. Remember, 9 is the value that creates a perfect square. So therefore, I'm going to add it to my other two values. So I'm going to say x squared plus 6x plus 9. That is my perfect square. Remember when I said find the value c that makes your perfect square, right? That's why we want this 9, because that now makes a perfect square. So then we're going to leave the 8 out. And then, remember, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So this is a perfect square. Well, what perfect square is it? Well, you can do a trick, a kind of a trick, is to take b divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So therefore, you can have x plus 3 squared plus 8 equals 9. So you guys got to know your perfect squares. You've got to be able to look at a perfect square and say, oh, that's a square number, and this is double that square, um, the square of the number. Therefore, now we just use our inverse operations. So you have x plus 3 squared equals 1. Now the inverse operation, square root both sides. So you have x plus 3 equals plus or minus 1. Subtract 3. So you have x equals 1 minus 3. And x equals negative 1 minus 3. Therefore, your answer is x equals negative 2. And x equals 